Important news now from NUMSA, the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa. It is the biggest union in the country, over 300,000 members. It is the biggest metal workers union in Africa. So this is a big deal. Today, their 11th annual Congress kicked off. It was supposed to actually start on Monday, but... It was court interdicted over the weekend. 31 members successfully challenged the Central Committee's decision to suspend them when a judge found that the union had not actually complied with their own constitution. Well, the union then adapted their constitution and dealt with some of the issues raised in the court, allowing the suspended members to attend. But then it seems those suspended members walked out. So let's get a real picture of what is going on in NUMSA. Our reporter Aisha Ismail joins us from Cape Town. Aisha, there's a lot on the boil for NUMSA. Um, I know you're going to tell us about the drama today with the, the, the group coming in and going out and there was lots of screaming and shouting at one point. But what is at the heart of the dispute? Well, it's actually very difficult to, to, to say what exactly is going on there because on the one hand, and I must say, when I walked into the Congress this morning, on the face of things, it seemed as if there was unity, that everybody had sorted out their differences, but apparently not. I mean, just um, soon after they had dealt with all the unofficial business, the minute they started with the official program, there was an objection, and that objection then came from the Western Cape and um, the Western Cape the representative of NUMSA then said that he was not going to participate he and his members were not going to participate in the Congress saying that um, the gathering was actually in contempt of court now you will recall that this um, Congress was meant to start on Monday but a group of, of NUMSA members then went to the Labour Court to try and interdict this conference conference from going ahead and from what I'm told is that the members were suspended because they questioned um, certain things happening within the the organization and of course Sally these are just allegations and there were also allegations of corruption in NUMSA's um, investment arm but let's listen to what the Western Cape Regional Secretary of NUMSA had to say about why they staged that war out today. NUMSA must first comply fully with the judgment before it can convene this Congress. And NUMSA have failed to do so, but continue with the Congress. You also raised another issue. The other issue is the issue of our own resolutions at Western Cape that we have developed from the floor from the local shop care councils to the regional executive committee and, 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 and the resolutions coming from the Congress. And we submitted our resolutions from the Congress, the regional Congress in February this year, to head office, to say those resolutions must form part of our national Congress. Because those resolutions are critical to the NUMSA Investment Company and Mr. Kandanim CB, who is the group CEO of this company, are not included in the Congress plan for discussion in this Congress. As a result of that, we are not going to be part of this Congress where you will have five regions that are supporting everything that comes from the leadership without being critical. Workers' investment arm is controlled by the group CEO and trustees have got no power to keep or hold him accountable. And it's a refusal. He owes so much money from the from NUMSA, which was given as a loan. He's not paying it back. For the past three years, he has not been paying, not a cent. He owes now up to 136 million rand. But this year, he paid himself 95 million rand. And the some CEOs. While he's not paying back workers' money. And we're not given an opportunity to raise these things in this Congress. All right, so that's one side of the story. Let's listen to uh, Pagamele Trubi Majola because she's saying actually they have complied uh, and everything should have been in order. Let's take a listen, then we'll have a quick chat afterwards. To be honest, I think the agenda here was never about participating. I think the agenda here was to collapse the Congress because um, if this was about participation, they would have stayed. The core of when, why they went to court was they said they were being denied the right to participate. Um, and they have taken 
uh, decisions, for example, their, the basis of their walking out is partly about Mpumalanga. I, I heard the regional secretary saying that. First of all, Western Cape has no right to speak on behalf of Mpumalanga. Mpumalanga has no problem with being placed under administration. They asked us to do it. So you must question what their true motives are. Surely what he's saying cannot possibly be true. Well, I suppose I, I have to ask if everything went ahead after that. Uh, the disgruntled members, uh, were they there? Were they not? What's going to happen? Well, Sally, the Congress did go ahead, but I must also say to you that those who walked out, some of them did come back to come and have some lunch, and they did gather around to listen to what was being said. And um, the Congress then continued according to the program, but the President then took the podium to officially open the Congress, and he lambasted those who decided to walk out. But at the same time, he also criticized the judgment. Let's listen to what he had to say. We believe that the judge has erred and misinterpreted our NUMSA constitution. We're very clear on this question, comment. That the judge, we know he might not be from the trade union rank, he could be from academic, from somewhere, from, from professional trade. We think that he erred on how he interpreted our own constitution. That's why we're appealing. Because, comrades, these judgments opens the door for anarchy in the organization. That's what this judgment effectively does. We could just imagine an organization as big as this NUMSA without any capacity, without any possibility of effecting disciplines against those who misconduct themselves in the organization. We won't have an organization. We won't. Even a small stock fell and society have got some rules. Most. You can't misconduct yourself. And then the organization cannot deal with misconduct. Because Judge Mushwana says, it is not in your constitution. It's a very strange thing which we must deal with it at the level of the court, not in this conference.